Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com where we provide cloud computing services that allow your employees to work from anywhere and still be under one virtual roof. We do this by hosting over 300 software applications and their associated data. All of those applications and data can be accessed and used from any of the devices you see on this screen. If you'd like more information about us, you can go to our website. You could also do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube. You can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com or you can call us at 866-932-2281. Okay, I saw a post today on LinkedIn asking about exporting some contact information out of ACT along with some history information. Um, and I believe the best way to do this is with Topline Dash. It's much easier to use, it's much faster than the ACT reporting tool, and to me it's much more reliable. And so what I thought I would do is I, I did respond to with a post, but I thought I would also include this link to a YouTube video so that folks can see how easy it is and how well it works. So I'm going to do that now. Um, our company is in the business of hosting Actware on virtual, <laughs> hosting Act on virtual desktops. Um, and just as an example, this is my local desktop. I'm physically in Orlando, Florida, but I use Act on a virtual desktop. And that virtual, uh, that server that hosts that uh, Act software and my database is actually in Bellingham, Washington. So I'm going to go down here and click on the virtual desktop now. And this is ACT in the cloud. As a matter of fact, if I go to my virtual desktop, you can see it's a Windows, full-blown Windows desktop. I've got Microsoft Office on here, QuickBooks, uh, and, uh, and ACT. So I'm going to go back to my ACT screen right now. And now that I'm in ACT, I, as I said, the best way, I believe the best way to do this is with Topline Dash. And so I'm going to click on, and Topline Dash is an add-on to ACT. Um, their website is www.toplineresults.com. So I'm going to click on the button down here that says Topline Dash. And Topline Dash allows you to um, create dashboards based on any table in your database. And it will allow you to combine da or tables into a single dashboard. You also build queries within the dashboard. Um, and once you have a list view of a particular dashboard, you have an Excel button where you can click and it automatically sends that data to an Excel spreadsheet. So let's create a new one real quick and we'll show you how this is done. So I'm just going to create a notes history and select history. Select next. My dates are good with for me. Here's all the different types of histories. A few of those are checked off. That's all good for me. Um, and by the way, you can even come down below and enter some information that it will search for in the regarding field. So you can filter it and, and separate the items um, or have separate things that you want so that the regarding field is also a filter for this. So I'm just going to leave that blank. Click OK. Show list. And I'm going to go to the, um, and you can see I've got four tables here to choose from. So history, company, group, and contact. Right now it's going to show me the date of the history entry, the result of the history entry, the regarding, the record manager. Those are all history. And it's going to show the contact's name. Now if I go over to the contact field, I've got every Field, I'm sorry, to the contact table, I've got every field in that table available to me. So if I want to add their telephone number, um, I can do that. If I wanted to add the uh, company name, I can do that. So just scroll down to the company. One more back up. I'm having a hard time getting the company. There's company and so on and so forth. I don't want to show this because this is my real database. I don't want to show that. I want to keep that information private, so I'm going to actually pull that back off of there. I just wanted to show that you are able to, to pull that information. I'm going to click Show Grid Lines. Or, yeah, have, so I have grid lines in my view. And just click OK. And here is my information. Now, this person that posted this on LinkedIn wanted it specific to a group. So if I want this to be filtered to a group, all I've got to do is click on the groups button up there. Here's a list of all my groups. And I want this, I'm going to choose um, Prospects AR 30 Days. I click OK. 
and now my list is down to 71 entries. Prior to doing that, it was like 170 entries. So now I've got this information. I just click on my Excel button up top, um, and I'm going to put this in my documents. Click Save. And boom, there that information is in Excel. Now, again, I could have, could have included any field from any of those four or five tables that you saw earlier. So I could include fields from the contact table, from the history table, from the groups table. Um, seemed like there was one other table, maybe the notes table, I'm not sure. Um, but at any rate, you can include any field from any of those tables in this Excel spreadsheet. And you can filter this any way you want as well. Well, that does it. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope uh, it was useful. Thanks again for taking a few minutes to watch this video from virtualroof.com. Keep in mind, everything that you saw in this video can be done from any of the devices on this screen. If you'd like more information about us, you can go to our website. You could also do a search for virtualroof.com on YouTube. You can send us an email at info at virtualroof.com, or you can call us at 866-932-2281.